What is moving lately? The tech stock in Nasdaq and S&P are down, whereas the traditional stocks in the Dow Jones and the smaller cap stocks in Russell are holding well. And there are three questions that I would like to discuss today. Number one is what is AI fatigue? And number two, why such a divergence, especially when investors are feeling nervous? And number three, how long will this sell down last? My name is Con Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we discuss today's subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. Question one, what is AI fatigue? And it all started around here. And this is a period where ChatGPT first made its appearance in late 2022. And from there, the AI-related stock ramped up as much as 10 times. Like NVIDIA, today PE ratio is around 70 times, and many of its competitors are at about a few hundred times in PE ratio. And this caused the investor to constantly feeling anxious of a correction to come. And let's look at question number two, why is there such a divergence? And this is called rotational play. And we have to understand that there is only that much of money available in the market. And whenever investors are feeling anxious with the hot stock that they are holding right now, in the same time, knowing that it is overvalued, what they do is that they simply switch from those stocks to a lower valuation, stocks like in the Dow Jones and Russell. And that's only the first point. And the second point is important because there's an expectation of an interest rate cut. As smaller companies do not have much cash, in fact, they suffered the most over the last two years with a higher interest rate. And since there's an anticipation of an interest rate cut to come, investors have switched their risk into the smaller cap. And let's discuss about question three. How long will this sell down last? And I'm going to do a comparison between NASDAQ and Russell. Now, NASDAQ first, and this was an analysis done in June. So my projection is that NASDAQ, if it reached 21,000, it may have some correction to come. And it all started with this uptrend line. And what I did was I parallel it to the dot-com boom and I do a projection. And that was June. My expectation is that if it reached around 21,000 and if it's reactive, I suspect that correction may come. And it did. It went up to a high of 20,983 in 11 of July. And let's look at the Russell right now. And can you see that there's some similarity between the two NASDAQ and Russell? So same thing, because you could see that the, there's a parallel line and the same concept, I used that, used the significant high and I project this. And that was in 2021, before the inflation hit the high of 9%. And what we're seeing here is that the Russell hit high in 2021 and it started to come down. And I would say that this could be a retracement. What we're seeing here is a retracement. And I suspect that the whole market is going to do, uh, going to trade around this band around here. And the last question, how long will this sell down last? And last week we discussed about the jobless rate suddenly move up quite quickly. And that kind of concerned me whereby it is not just technical that we've studied through, with a higher unemployment, it also refers that economy may be slowing. And with a slower economy, the demand of cheap may be reduced. And I suspect that the correction may be a little bit deeper than what I'd expected it to be. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I'd love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that I stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.